Hello, 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 everybody. How are you doing tonight, Mr. Unpacked? I hope you're doing well. We don't need that open, so I'm going to minimize that. Hello, Ethan. I am doing much better, as I'm sure you can hear in my voice. Look at that. Ooh, I can make all of these sounds. I can go up and down, and it doesn't sound froggy or congested, and oh my goodness, it's so great. Hello, Lucas. How's it going? Bob, you're getting tomorrow's video ready? Nice, nice. Logan's here. Man, Logan, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing, sir? <clears throat> <clears throat> I am still, I still have a little bit in my throat, which is what you heard right there. It's like not, uh, not like super congested, but like there's just that little bit of aftermath, you know? And so... I have tomorrow's video ready already for my Monday series, and we're giving away some cards. I've already picked the winner and everything, so right now I can tell you there's no point in voting now on that series, because I've already picked the winner and did the votes and all that stuff, um, based on who had commented and everything. But someone did win. We did get there. We finally got there. Busy with life and everything. Man, I know, right? It's so Life is so busy these days. Did you move, Logan? Do I have the right address for you still? I need you to send me a note on Patreon or something and just let me know if your address has changed. Because I think that you and I talked a while back about you moving and, and that I don't know if I ever got your updated address. Hey, Carl, how's it going? You've been getting everything? That's awesome. All right, good. That means that I have your 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 address, so that's good news. <clears throat> I honestly, last month, December was a bit of a blur for me, so if I sent you your package and it only had one grab bag in it, I apologize. Logan has always asked that I only send him his mail once he has two grab bags. Um, it was a very kind thing of him to do to essentially allow me to spend less on shipping because I only ship to him every two months as opposed to every month. Um, so very nice of him. Um, I don't remember if I shipped it to you or not. So I'll have to double check. Um, if I still have it here, it will go out. Like it'll be in an envelope with your name on it. It's just a matter of, I have to go check my, my mailing station to see if it's actually there. Cause it's been, it's been a hell of a month. It's been a hell of a month. Every package has had two. Sweet. Good. All right, so, as you all know, and as you all are aware, we currently have these as grand prizes. A foil doubling season, a foil wasteland, and a Mr. B signed. And what this Mr. B signed is, is it's one of these bad boys over here. Sorry, I gotta move stuff. I've got stuff sitting on top of these. Eh? <laughs> To be fair, you forget and things show up, so you can't complain too much. All right, well, that's good. That's good. All right, so um, we have these fine deck boxes made by our own patron, Rick Corwin. If you haven't checked out his Etsy shop to get these deck boxes, definitely go check them out. Um, they're definitely well worth it, right? They're definitely well worth it. They're, they're well made. They're 3D printed. They're solid. They have a nice little divider in the middle. For your sideboard and they're connected with magnets so they snap together real nice and tight right now we did do a test on it and if you shake it really hard uh, you can get it to separate with a full deck in it now that's because of the weight of the cards of course right but still you have to really really be shaking it to get it to come apart so um, we have two here that are like the dragon scale kind of look with the dragon's eyes on them um, and then we have, of course, the prototype one that he sent me with has my logo on it. So he can custom com customize them, basically, from my understanding. So um, any of these, if you get the Mr. B, you have your choice. Now, I also am going to be offering um, 
the play mats as well. I do have play mats with my logo on them. They're not like super fancy or anything like that. Uh, Carl knows what I'm talking about. Carl purchased one of the playmats way back when I first announced them all. Um, they were available on my store for a long time. Um, and uh, I just didn't, uh, I just haven't got my site up and running. I mean, it's up. My website is up. The store website is up. You should be able to go and you should be able to buy cards. I've been getting no traffic and that's because like the website is like not really the best by the looks of things. It's not like, um, it's not secure. Like, it doesn't have uh, certificates. So everyone will go there and be like, oh, this site's not secure. I don't know if I trust it. It is actually my site, and it is actually secure when, you, when you're when you on the page for checkout. So, like, the checkout page where, the, where you order and you pay for your cards is actually secured. Like, it is an actual secured checkout website. It's just that the rest of the site isn't. And I've asked the IT guys about it, and they're like, oh, we're working on it, but we don't know when it'll happen. And I'm like... Okay, fine, whatever. Like, I mean, so I'm not sure what's happening. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. It's held up so far. That's great. I actually regret, I regret it, Carl, because I shipped it to you and I didn't sign it, and I'm so sorry. Like, I thought about it. Like, I think it was like, like a two weeks after I shipped it, I was like. Ugh. I was like, no, <laughs> I should have friggin' signed the play mat. Um, so, the deck boxes that you're asking about, will they hold a commander deck? The answer to your question is is not, they're not specifically designed for a commander deck because they have the divider in them. Now, I haven't tried putting a full commander deck into this with the divider, just like putting it in. I haven't tried, so I don't know for sure. Um, as for the link in the description, not yet, Carl. I don't think I have a link to uh, Rick's page in the description, but I will make sure I get it from him, and I will make sure that I add it. Now, he also makes these. Um, yeah, I will pull your second grab bag for last month, uh, Costa. Don't worry. I, I noticed that it had charged you for last month, but like not until like later. So uh, you can see the size difference, right? They're they're the same width, but like they have like an extra it's got an extra like, you know, inch on the back. And this is actually a commander deck box. So see, this will hold a commander plus tokens and sideboard, right? Not that you need a sideboard for commander, but like for your tokens and stuff. So, right now I have the startings of my Arcades commander deck that I'm building in there. Um, and also that deck box, because of how big it is, I can't include it with the, with the giveaway for this stuff just because it's a little bit too big for me to be shipping it out. That's all. Okay. So, we have a whole bunch of patrons here. You guys, I hope you're all doing well tonight. I hope you're all having a good weekend. I hope 2019 has been treating you well. So, of course, we've got Tony who upgraded to uh, the two times grab bag. Bring on the walls, that's right, collecting wood. Um, okay, Logan, I will look into that. It shouldn't be showing the out of stock items. It shouldn't be, that was an option I checked when I first built the site. Um, Oh, that's awesome. Here's Johnny. Sweet. I'm glad to hear it. We've got Eric, who's one of our newest patrons right there. Eric W is in chat right there. we got Exotic MTG, who's also one of our newer patrons. We have Kyle T, who has a uh, two times grab bag. I believe I saw him in chat a little earlier. We've got Ethan D, who is also a two times patron. Um, he is in the $16 bracket for two grab bags, so he gets two. Um, he, I believe I saw Ethan here as well, did I not? Ethan, were you here? Yeah, Ethan's here. We got Lucas. We got uh, Kairu Kairu. We got MTG Unpacked, who is also here in chat. We got Cole. We got Evan, who's here in chat. We got Eric. 
We got Ken C. We got Broke Honky. We got Joe B. We got Dustin C. We got Chris R. We got Mike V. We got Jordan W. We got Matt N. We got Logan B. We got Father Frodo. We got Rick C. Who just showed up. Rick, by the way, please link your deck boxes in chat because people have been asking. Carl was asking about it. So please put a link in the chat. And I have to make sure I copy it and... And uh, put it into my description for my for my gra patron grab bags because I want to make sure it's in there so that people can find it easily. So please make sure you put the link in chat there, Rick. So we also I don't want to pass up here, but we've got Ian, uh, Matt W, uh, Kyle C, Gamer Geek, and Carl E, who also upgraded. <laughs> he messaged me the other day. Um, this the the technically the store the Nerdvana store does have a Facebook page, so you can go and. You can go and follow the Facebook page. I don't really update it, but if you want to get real time chat with me, you can uh, you can talk through the Nerdvana channel, and I will get a message on my phone, and I can reply to it. Like so, if you want to do it that way, you totally can. It, you can also just hit me up on Twitter. My DMs are open, so I mean, you can always just tweet at me or DM me on Twitter. Um, I mean, I reply. I get the notices pretty much instantly so I try to reply as quickly as I can um, if I'm if I'm not busy right so um, yeah you can definitely do those things anyway that's everybody so we've got a whole bunch of people here now um, I know that Lucas um, he messaged me and was and told me that he would have to stop being a patron um, you know because he he needs to wait until he gets some more money before he can become a patron again and I said don't worry about it that's totally fine I said but you've already been charged for this month so he's getting one this month and he went oh I didn't know. I'm like, well, you did already, and I can't refund him, I don't think, but I think Patreon could, yeah, I think he could put in, he could apply for a refund, I think, or something like that, and then, like, anyway, whatever. He, he didn't say that he was going to or anything, so he's going to get a grab bag this month, and we'll we'll worry about that for later. But we're up to 30, 30? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Okay, we're at the 28. We got 28. There, there's Lucas. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? We were just talking. I was just talking about you. There's your name right there, man. We're going to be giving you a, great, a grab bag this month. All right, chaosproductions at etsy.com. That is the deck box link. For Rick's deck boxes, if you want to purchase some, by all means, please go there and check it out. All right. Um, also, Eric, yeah, if you want to share that link on Twitter, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame you, right? You could be like, look at these sweet deck boxes. I know Eric's a big, he's a big uh, Twitter pusher. I like him. He's Eric's a great guy. He pushes a lot of people's content on Twitter, so maybe he can drive you some business, Rick. So anyway, we've got everybody here. We're up to 28. If we get to 50, I think I have 50, um, one of you guys will be getting a bundle of the newest set every month. Well, as long as we're over 50 patrons each month, we will be giving away a bundle of the newest standard set every, every month. Oof, look at that. It was impossible to win, but you did it. Ha <laughs> I might just do that. There you go. See? Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. All right. So let's get in. Let's, without further ado, let's get right into things. You guys are all here. I hope you're all having a wonderful night. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's uh, let's get right in. Let's get right in and, and get these going. We've been live for 14 minutes. We haven't even started. See? It's just how we do things. If you're new here, I already sort of went over what's going on. Basically, any patron of mine that rolls over from month to month... Um, there's an Atarka with 48 attack. Jeebus. That is a that is a lot of attack on an Atarka. So if you're new here, the way this works is each patron of mine that's at the uh, $8 level or higher, essentially, gets a grab bag. Um, and the grab bag consists of two rares, one from each of these rows, which you'll see in this box. Then they get six bulk pulls, and then they get one foil pull and one common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. Any patron that rolls over each month gets a pull from the patron pile. The patron pile is this stack of cards, which is a card, which are cards of value or interest from my One of Everything series that happens every Wednesday. If you notice that uh, on Wednesdays, I do a series called One of Everything Wednesdays where I go around to the local game stores in my area and I pick up one of every pack they have available. Um, the patron money that I get every month directly goes into funding buying these packs, which is why these cards of interest and note 
go right back to the patrons. That's how this works. Literally, almost, I would say probably, I would say probably at least 85, if not 90 percent of the money that I make on a monthly basis from Patreon goes into buying the packs to for this Wednesday Wednesday series. So quickly distract him. No, no, not distract him. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Still saving up for your LGS? Yes, Carl. It's 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 in the works. It's in the works. Actually, I was gonna message you about it probably like in the next couple of weeks um, with with what I have planned, and and maybe we can work it out and figure out how to how to get that done. Um, but I am going to be in Texas uh, in two weeks for Pack South. So if any of you are gonna be down down that way um, in two weeks. I believe it's like the 18th, 19th, 20th um, is when I'll be in in the area. So like we take this, right? And you kind of like shuffle like this, right? So that way you're not grabbing any of the, the cards and this way you don't know what's happening, right? You want to like shuffle some to the... This way we don't know who's at the bottom, right? Because the bo bottom... Am I opening an LGS? Man, Costa, that is a thing that I want to do. <laughs> That's the thing that I want to do. That's been like the dream for the last like 10 years, man. It's been the dream for the last 10 years, but I've had like a n number of partners and business plans and stuff fall through and then just like basically I can't do it by myself. I can't do it by myself. Um, so I need like either a partner or an investor or something along those lines to help get it off the ground. And once it's off the ground, then then we get there, right? But every time I do that, um, the person that I start talking with ends up basically just falling through. Um, and whether it's just a partner who's basically just going to help work some of the hours at the store and not necessarily do any of the funding, right? Just just work some of the hours at the store so that I can at least, you know, make sure that the store's open most of the time. <laughs> so, anyway, first up. Boom, Eric. Look at that, Eric. You're first. What are you getting? Wait, I should shuffle this. I should shuffle this because I just sorted it the other day. Tough business. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's not easy to run your own business, let alone run a business that is specifically like a niche market, right? Um, and the problem I have is that I don't have knowledge of, of any of the other systems right like if you talk warhammer or you talk Yu-Gi-Oh or you talk pokemon i have no knowledge of those things now board games sure i've been doing a lot of board games in fact i could probably do a youtube series where i literally just talk about the board games i've played and and do a rundown of the rules and like talk about my favorite aspects of each game like i could probably make a pretty pretty lengthy youtube series about that type of thing because i play a lot of board games um and I've grown up on board games, but, um, just, there's, there's so much other stuff that needs to be done for that kind of business. You all, you have to know about everything. Yeah, you have to know about everything. Hey, Jay Shing, how's it going? Eric, you're walking away with a Pia and Kieran Nalar, but don't worry, that's not it. You're also getting a Sunscorch Regent. Both of them about a dollar a piece, I believe, is what I had them listed at. Or about 85 cents, maybe, somewhere in there. So there you go, Eric. A nice little Pia Kieran. Legendary mono... You could play, make mono red legendary uh, artifact nonsense now, right? You could do that for your commander deck or something. Who knows, right? Lots of options. Lots of options. So, Eric, you're going to go there. All right, who's next? Boom. Father Frodo... Father Frodo is walking away with that foil flame blade adept. There you go, Father Frodo. Dire Fleet Daredevil is going to Ian. 
Ian, congratulations. Nice little uh, modern. It's a modern playable, by the way, that, that little fire fleet. Joe is walking away with a fortified village. What did you miss? Not much. We just get started here. <laughs> Can I have an unstable basic land? Well, we'll find out. Artifact Jank. Yeah, you know it. You're back. Welcome back, Lucas. Mike. Mike Veet is walking away with that risk factor. Nice little standard playable card. Very nice. Jordan, Jordan, you're here. I know you're here. What are you walking away with? You're walking away with the Spreading Seas. There you go, man. I opened that from one of my Zendikar packs in the One of Everything series. Nice little uh, card there. Lucas, Lucas is back just in time to see that he's going to walk away with a nice Boros charm. There it is. There it is. Rick, Rick, you're here. You're walking away with a Zendikar Resurgence. There you go. This is like, so Rick, If the, for those of you who are unaware, Rick has made a commander deck that uh, was ba built with all of the grab bags I've sent him. He hasn't sent me the deck list or anything like that yet. Um, oh no, you did send me the deck list, and I did look at it. It looks good. But this is a sweet card. This card will be good for that commander deck. Nice little double up all your mana and stuff. Ethan, Ethan's here too. Ethan's walking away with a scape shift. There you go, Ethan. Congratulations. Broke Honky's walking away with that foil swords to plowshares. There it is. Very nice foil. Jonathan, you're walking away with a foil fountain of renewal. There you go. So this foil fountain of renewal, look up the price of this and tell me what you think. Because <laughs> when I priced it out to put it into this pile, I was blown away that it was like $3 or something like that. And I was like, $3? Foil fountain of renewal? Ridiculous. Pernicious Deed for Kyle C. There you go, Kyle. So, Jonathan, let me know if that's okay with you. I hope you're good with that. Chris R. is getting an overgrown tomb. There it is. Very nice. Matt W. walking away with that Rites of Flourishing. There it is. Fountain C. Standard play. Yeah, it absolutely does, Costa. Yeah. Carl, Carl, you're walking away with that foil, Demon Lord Belzenlock. There it is. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Eric, Eric, I don't think is here. Eric's walking away with a nice Lotus Bloom. Ken C is walking away with a nice Grim Flare. There it is. Grim Flare is a sweet card, too. Unpacked, unpacked. You're walking away with this card. Do you want me to show it? Do you want to see it? I can put it over here because I'm going to pull your grab bag offline. Do you want me to Do you want me to show? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it unpacked? All right, I'm going to leave that there and you can tell me. I know it's a little bit delayed. Dustin C is walking away with a risk factor. Yes, you want to see it? Or yes, you want me to put it away? You can show it all? All right. Boom! You're walking away with an anger. An old school anger. From Judgment. There it is. Don't show him. Don't show him. Cole F. Walking away with a Razaketh, the foul blooded. There you go, Cole. I know you like your red, Unpacked. I know you like your red. Logan. Logan's here. <laughs> there you go, Logan. You asked. Here you go, dude. Didn't that's what you wanted, right? <laughs> Logan called that. Logan called that. There it is. Gamer Geek. Walking away that Gishaf. Sun's Avatar. Evan. Evan is here. Evan, you're getting a foil Deep Root Waters. So there you go. Another sweet card, actually. This card is amazing in the right Merfolk deck. I just wish that it would make foil tokens in paper. Tony. Tony's walking away with a Narset. How about that, Tony? I don't know if Tony's here, but Tony walking away with a nice little Planeswalker. There it is. Exotic MTG almost, almost made it. Almost made it. He was so close to winning the grand prize this month. 
He's walking away with a foil Gitu Lava Runner. <laughs> Luckily, you use unstable basics in all your decks, so I'm really helping you. Am I actually helping you, or are you just having to build more new decks because I keep sending you lands? And you're like, damn it, now I have to build another deck to use these lands. Oh, ho, ho. Kairu, Kairu. So close. Two people left. So close. Walking away with that foil necropotence, though. There you go. I hope you enjoy that, Kairu, Kairu. All right. Second. Second place. This person made it so close to the finish line. Almost there. It's Matt. Mr. Viking MTG himself. Walking away with that Zep de Tulpa. Who wins? Who is someone? Are you here? Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle T. Winning that grand prize. Winning that grand prize. Now, do I have a D4 kicking around here somewhere? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just use a D6. Alright? Let's just use a D6. Okay? Kyle T. Kyle T. Winning that... We gotta shuffle these up, I think. Right? We gotta shuffle these up. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is that you want me to replace the forest with a mountain if I could. Because, I mean, I can do that if you want me to. Alright. Kyle is getting one... One, two... Three, four, five, six. Right? Make sense? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm rolling this one here. Three. This one. What didn't he win? Okay, he didn't win a deck box. You know what that means, though, right? No deck box. But that means that you've either got a foil wasteland or a foil doubling season. Holy moly. Well, Kyle. How do you feel about that foil doubling season, sir? I hope you enjoy it. So Kyle's walking away with that sweet, sweet foil doubling season. There it is. There it is. <whistles> Kyle's a big, big play, man. Big play. Congratulations to Kyle, yes. All right. Oh, oh, everything's falling over. Stop falling over, things. All right. Whew. Okay. So now we on, we're on to the meat and potatoes, right? We've given you your, your appetizer. I wanted that one. Didn't everybody? I think everybody wanted that one. I know I wanted that one. I would have gladly kept that foil doubling season. <laughs> you, yeah, I'm feeling way better, Rick. I'm feeling way better. Much, much better. Is he here? I don't think he's actually here, no. All right, all right. Whew. Full meal coming up. All right, now yeah, we're now we're into the meat and potatoes. We're doing Kyle first because he was last picked. So Kyle, you're in Kyle's the two times. So we need to do two. All right, Lucas, enjoy your dinner, sir. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's let's get in. First up, boom, an end bringer. Second up, boom, a life crafter's bestiary. Okay, and then peace of mind, bishop. Soldier, Jeskai Student, a booster pack of Guilds of Ravnica, Agony Warp, Sanger Vampire, 
foil species gorger and an animate dead oh there you go all right holy moly so we owe Kyle. Kyle, not only did he win a doubling season foil, he also gets a booster pack. My goodness. Kyle, this is a crazy week for you. Second grab bag. Coax from the Blind Eternities. And Metallurgic Summonings. A nice mythic there. Orzov Guildgate, which shouldn't be in there. Talk Crop Skirmisher. Cunning Strike. Timberland Guide. Tropical Storm. Goblin Electromancer. And Sprinting Warbrute. Foil is a ruthless ripper. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a gut shot. So there it is. Kyle is cleaning up tonight. He sure is. Let's open up his booster pack now. Wah! Guilds of Ravnica. Let's see what he gets. Let's see what he gets. Nice dead weight in there. Golgari Raiders. Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Crush Contraband, and Vivid Revival. So there you go, Kyle. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that fat stack of cards. Look at that fat stack of cards. My goodness. Can I even fit it into one bag? Ugh. Kyle, Kyle, I'm going to need to give Kyle two bags, probably. That seems likely. That seems likely. All right. Who's next? Matthew. Matt N. Or Viking MTG. Walking away that Zetalpa. Boom. Permeating Mass. Isochron Scepter. Very nice. Submerged Boneyard. Why are these lands in here? What is going on? Someone, someone had done goofed. It was me. I'm the one. I'm the one that... Shh. I'm the one that done goofed. Angelic Curator. Thalid Omnivore, and Sandstep Outcast. Ha! Days! Oh, let's not forget your foil. Your foil is a Pride Guardian. So there you go, Mr. Viking MTG. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Blame, blame it on Charla. Always her fault. And never her fault. wet the whistle a little bit there mm. and Kairu Kairu walking away with that foil necropotence hey Corbin how's it going we've got a captain's claws and a radiant purge hinderland logger mana geyser mesa enchantress redwood tree folk eviscerate and iron league steed you know it Jonathan I'm so bad at it. Quicksilver Dagger. I try to take all of the lands out of my bulk before I put my bulk into here. It doesn't always work out. Hey, and look, you're getting an Isochron Scepter uncommon. Look at that. That's right, there's Isochron Scepters in the rare and also in the uncommon. Because, you know, why wouldn't there be? So there you go, Kairu Kairu. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag, your first grab bag of 2019. Okay, now Exotic MTG is next. Now he wants his grab bags pulled off of camera so that he can open them on his channel. MTG Unpacked is the same way, so we'll make sure that we do that that way as well. And Les Unpacked, you're here, so you can tell me. You did say op you, you did say show it all, but I'm assuming you want to open it on your channel for mail time. Um, Tony, Tony W is a two times, new two times, so we need to owe, we owe Tony two grab bags. Boom, first one. Curse of Swine and Oath of a Johnny. And then we've got Setison Starbreaker, Crazed Goblin, Vith Vithian Stinger, Murmurs from Beyond, Spiritual Visit, and Sh uh, Shinnen of Fear's Chill. Holy moly. And your foil is a Seal of Strength. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more? All right, Unpacked, I will do your grab bag when we get there. Him to Turok. Him to Turok. Personally, I like the other Him to Turoks better. The old school, the Fallen Empires ones. Tony's second grab bag. A Dark Slick Shores. Look at that. It's a sweet card. Nice little pull, nice little hit there. And a Yavamai Coast. 
two lands for you, Tony. I hope you appreciate. Goblin Electromancer, Crazed Goblin, Cloudfin Raptor, Burst of Energy, Undo, and Cloud Blazer. And your foil is a Phyrexian Rager. And you're getting a Young Pyromancer. So there you go. Uh, yes, Costa. So I will be at uh, GP Toronto for... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be there every day. Um, I've actually been talking with a bunch of other content creators... And we're planning to, like, sort of, like, meet up and, like, hang out and do a bunch of uh, casual kind of, like, side events and stuff. Um, so we'll definitely be there. I'm probably going to, like, try to, like, set up shop at a table that's not being used for, like, the main tournaments or the side events. Um, so that I can, like, basically be like, this is where we are. Come hang out. Come play if you want kind of thing. Right, and there'll just be like a big group of us. I'm hoping I can I can find something like that, but I don't know. We'll see. Evan, speaking of you and answering your questions, um, you're walking with that foil deep root waters, and we're going to pull your grab bag now. You get two grab bags because he gets last month's grab bag as well. Stitcher's graft. Absolutely, absolutely. Dune blast. Phyrexian Ingester, Scavenging Scarab, Reckless Cohort, Llanowar Elves, Falconrath Noble, and Skr Soul Cage Fiend, along with your foil, which is a deep analysis. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is an Ashenod's Altar. So there you go. And Evan gets a second grab bag because last month... Yeah, he didn't get in there in time for the grab bag, so we didn't pull it. Dimensional Infiltrator. Triskaidekaphobia. Contingency Plan. Crazed Goblin. Prowling Pangolin. Pangolin. Rogue Elephant. A Johnny's Presence. Sure Strike. And a Street Wraith as your common or uncommon. Let's get your foil. An Oromancer. So there you go. Street Wraith has your common or uncommon with dollar more. And there you go. Hey, Tartuffe. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. I hope you are doing well as well. So there you go, Evan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. If I ever make it to Phoenix, I'll let you know. Okay, Carl. I will definitely I will definitely let you know. I know a bunch of um like the other content creators I've been talking with um online. I've been talking with Milo the Great. Uh, MTG Canuck, uh, Kitchen Table Commander, uh, Ranch, um, and some others. I think I think those are the main ones we've been talking to. Um, we're all going to be at GP Toronto, um, or try to be. Um, and then uh, a bunch of us have been talking about going to Vegas at some point as well, like kind of like as a group. Um, so that might happen at some point as well. So if that happens, we'll make sure to let you guys know so that if you're going to make the trip out to Vegas for GP Vegas... You, you know, you'll know that we're there. So Gamer Geek is next, and Gamer Geek gets two grab bags. He's walking away with that Jiseth, the Sun's Avatar. And first up is a Fall of the Titans, along with Deploy the Gatewatch. There you go. Nice little mythic. Fiend Binder. Frenzied Goblin. Fact or Fiction. Conduit of Storms. Reckless Rage. And Banners Raised. Your foil is a Pardic Dragon from Modern Masters. And Goblin Bushwhacker. You've got a lot of red in there. Holy moly. Your first grab bag was like almost mono red, Gamer Geek. I hope you like red. Let's find out. All right, so next up, your second grab bag, Gamer Geek, is a Selfless Spirit. Very nice little card. Aethertide Whale. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hamlet Captain. Fogwalker. Nocturnal Raid, Manta Ray, and Carrier Thrill. Mmm. Avon Envoy as your foil. Nice little Legions foil. The old school foiling. And a Lava Spike from Modern Masters. So there you go, Gamer Geek. Thank you so much for your patronage. Those are your grab bags. For the first grab bags for 2019. Isn't that sweet? Very sweet. Thank you so much. 
All right, who's up next? Logan. Logan is here, and he managed to call the shot on getting an unstable land, and he got that forest. So, Logan, let's see what your grab bag is. An Otherworld Atlas. Very cool card. That card is great, by the way. And a Burning Wish. Also another very good card. Hound of the Farbogs. Squadron Hawk. Ooh, a Timber Gorge. Perfect. Stonehaven Medic. Soul Shepherd. Void Shatter. And Bitter Revelation. And your foil is an Arrows of Justice. Arrows of Justice. With a Pyroblast as your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. So there you go, Logan. Thank you so much for your patronage. That is your grab bag for January 2019. I'll have to double check and make sure that I either do have an envelope for you to send out this month or do not have an envelope to send out for you this month. I have to make sure. Cole F is next. Walking away with that Razaketh. Cole, you're getting Adrana's Chosen along with a Combustible Gear Hulk. Nice little mythic pull for you as well. Gift of Paradise. Spring Sage Ritual. Nav Squad Commandos, Mad Prophet, Epic Confrontation, and a Refurbish. Everyone remembers when Refurbish was being played all the time. And your foil is a Kujar Seed Sculptor. Your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Mutagenic Growth. So there you go, Cole. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. There's your grab bag for 2019. January. Oh no! I dropped a bag! Whatever will I do? I'm gonna lose it. What's this? Oh, that's that. I keep, I keep putting things all over the place. Unpacked is here. Now Unpacked wants us to actually do his grab bag, so let's do it. Unpacked. Your rares are as followed. Wild as dreams. And... Marionette Master, along with prices, Pieces of the Puzzle, Soul Cage Fiend, Undo War Cleric, Flare Drone, Kite Sail Scout, Dragon Hatchling, and your foil, a Havoc Demon as your foil, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more, a nice little Lava Spike. This Marionette Master, by the way, this card is solid. This card is so good. It does a lot of work in the right deck. One of my buddies has a deck built around it, and it it is very mean. It's very mean. All right, Dustin. So there you go, Un Unpacked. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. That's your grab bag for 2019. Dustin is next. Walking away to that risk factor. All right, Dustin. First up, Padim, Council of Innovation, and a Dead Bridge Goliath. You get an Azimate Drake, Lunark Mantle, Stone Fury, Shard of Broken Glass, Mischief and Mayhem, Jaddy Offshoot, a Foil Stormfleet Arsonist, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a Sakura Tribe Scout. So there you go, Dustin. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag, and there you go. Went nicely with uh, God Pharaoh's gift. Yeah. It sure did. It sure did. It's way meaner in Commander games. I don't doubt it, Jonathan. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Ken C is next. Walking away with that Grim Flare. Boom. We've got a Vengeful Firebrand. And a Silent Sentinel. You're getting a Solitary Hunter. Grixis Slave Driver. Wild Size, Multani's Acolyte, Narstad Scrapper, and an Eyeless Watcher. This one. You're getting a Shadow Slice as your foil. A nice little Cypher spell. And a Dismember. There you go. Some nice green, black, gold Gari cards for you there, Ken. Go to go with your Grim Flare. Look at that. It's like It was like it was meant to be. It was like I had it all planned out, except that I didn't. And Tony, if you're watching, don't worry. I have your other grab bag from last month set aside to go out with your other grab bags. 
We pulled them for you already, and I forgot to mention it, but I do have it. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Eric is next with that Lotus Bloom. All right, Eric. Eric's walking away with a Dawnbringer Charioteers and an Aetherworks Marvel. Very nice. Remember when Aetherworks Marvel was worth a whole bunch of money? I remember. Borhoed Malevolence, Teleportal, Unflinching Courage, Death Mask Nizumi, Reduced to Ash, and Plow Through the Rito. Plow through it, everybody. Plow through it. And your foil is a Spontaneous Mutation. Which is actually a cool looking foil, by the way. And you're getting a Wear and Tear, which is a dual card that lets you destroy target artifact or destroy target enchantment. So there you go. And I think you can yeah, you can fuse it so that you can do both. So for three mana, you could do both things. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, who's next? Carl. Carl, you're here still, right? All right, Carl. Petridge Farm remembers. Do you remember when magic cards were just magic cards? Petridge Farm remembers. Carl's walking away with a Bristling Hydra. A Carry Zev's Expertise. Violent Impact. Take Inventory. Emissary, uh, Emessi Tome. Choking Restraints. Stampeding Ciro. And Forsaken Drifters. You are getting... Ba-boom! A Foil Rare! As your first one, Carl. And that is a Quicksmith Rebel. There it is. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a price of progress. So there you go. Some nice little red cards for you. For your first grab bag. Let's see what we get from your second grab bag. How's it going, Kyra Kyra? We pulled your grab bag already. And we pulled your extra card. And you got some pretty sweet stuff. If I remember correctly. Secret Salvage. Olivia. Mobilized for war. There you go. Nice little mythic for you. Little, like you like vampires, Carl? I hope so, because you're getting a nice mythic red black vampire. An unknown shores. A courageous outrider. Breed bred for the hunt. Seal of doom. Gone missing. Phyrexian walker. Eldrazi devastator. And your foil, a pillage. Good old pillage. Who doesn't like pillage, right? And your common or uncommon with dollar or more, indulgent aristocrat. That vamp will do quite nicely. All right. It can go well with your foil demon lord. How about that? How about that, Carl? Kyle! Kyle! Kyle, my man! My man, Kyle! You were the big winner this month. And you weren't here to see it. But you did it. You won it. I hope you enjoy what you got. Oh, man. He can't hear. He can't hear because he's at work. <laughs> Someone tell him. Someone tell him in chat that he was the winner. Don't have to tell him what he won, but you can just tell him that he, that he did win. Matt. Matt W. is getting two grab bags and walking away with that rights of flourishing. I would tell him. <laughs> I mean, I would tell him that he won. I don't know if I would tell him what he won. So your first rare. Wharf Infiltrator. Consulate Crackdown. Expose Evil. Woodlot Crawler. In Bolas's Clutches. Infantry Veteran. Wave Wing Elemental, Compelling Argument, and your foil is an Armored Ascension, along with a Simeon Spirit Guide as your first common or uncommon with Del more. Very nice. All right, Matt, your second. All right, Matthew, your second grab bag. Let's see. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. How about a Remorseless Punishment and... A Wingmane Rock. There you go. Nice little mythic for you. Also, the Wingmane Rock is a sweet card. Three tragedies. Dutiful throw. Crack Clan Ogre. Sorry, it's not Ironworks. Um, Dwarven Nomad. <laughs> Hairs of Stormkirk. And a Silver Gill Adept. Silver Gill yeah, Adept is a sweet card. 
And your foil is a Daru Healer from Onslaught. Nice old foiling. And your common or uncommon with all or more is Delver of Secrets. Oh no, I missed something cool, did I? <laughs> How far back was it? It was a while back. It was a while back. Again, because he can't hear, so I can't really respond to him. <laughs> you were the big wiener. Shove! So there you go, Matthew W. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy those grab bags. You got a sweet little mythic pull there. All right, Chris is walking away with that overgrown tomb. Very nice. Who doesn't like Shocklands, right? Who doesn't like Shocklands? Chris, what are you walking away with? A Cryptolith Rite. Very good card, actually. Cryptolith Rite is very nice. And a Scramble Verse. Good old Scramble Verse. Tormenting Voice. Ogre Leadfoot. Crack Clan Ogre. Crypt Incursion. Spark Mage's Gambit, and <laughs> how about all these red cards? Did you want red cards? I hope you wanted red cards, Chris, to go with your green-black land that you got. <laughs> your common or uncommon worth a dollar more is Rancor, and your foil is a flint, flint hoof boar. Well, I mean, I guess. So there you go. There you go, Chris. I hope you enjoy all those red cards to go with your green-black rare land that we gave you. 23 Wish Minutes back. 23, mi 23 minutes back is about, is it in that long? Holy moly. I'm so, I'm so slow at this, aren't I? <laughs> All right, Kyle C. Kyle C gets two grab bags and walking away with that pernicious deed. All right, Kyle C. Walking away with a Celestial Gatekeeper from Legions and Animation Module. Regicide, which shouldn't be in there because it's not a card that can be played in any format. Mana Geyser. Sunscorched Desert. Holy moly, I owe you so many cards. Zulaport Cut. Chain Mage. Wasteland Scorpion. Barrow Ghoul. Aberrant Researcher. And Brazen Scourge. And Foil Gift of Orzova. Or Orzava. And a Reliquary Tower. There you go. So thank you so much, Kyle. That's your first grab bag. Let's see what you get in your second one. Second grab bag. Boom! Rishkar. Rishkar is a nice, sweet card. Everyone remembers that. Temple of Mystery, also very nice. Prodigal Sorcerer. Maritime Guard. Enthralling Victor. Apathy. Intangible Virtue. And Aetherborn Marauder. Your foil is a foil gravedigger. Who doesn't like foil gravediggers? And Remand. There you go. Nice little uncommon. Worth worth about five bucks or so, I think. So there you go, Kyle. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy all of those lands. <laughs> there you go. He saw it. There it is. There you go, Kyle. I hope you enjoy, man. Jonathan. We're walking away with that foil fountain of renewal. All right. Boom. You're getting a Deep Fathom Skulker. If you don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. And a Westvale Abbey. Look at that. We all know what this flips into. And if you don't know, it flips into this bad boy. Big old 9-7 Flying Lifelink Indestructible Haste. Look at that man. It's a big, big, it's a big demon man. Recover. Ogre Leadfoot. Mardu Scout, Freed from the Real, Ancient Carp, and Necromancer's Assistant. And your foil, let's pull your foil first. Boom, foil is a Caustic Tar. And your common or common with dollar more is a Kitchen Finks. So there you go. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I hope you enjoy that grab bag. It was actually some pretty sweet cards in that grab bag. So there you go. It flips into pure evil. I love it. <laughs> Bro Conky is next. Bro Conky walking away with that foil sword to plowshares. Let's see what he gets. Boom. Key to the city. And an elite inquisitor. Borrowed Grace. Volshock Sorcerer. Thunderbolt. Rogue Elephant. Vizier of Remedies. And Unified Front. Your foil is an Acid Web Spider from, uh, what is that, Scars of Mirrodin? Yeah, and a Counterspell from Arcadian Masks. Hopefully you can put that into your blue-red, uh, you know, 
counter deck. I hope so. So there you go, Bro Conky. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. There it is. All right. Ethan. Ethan, I don't know if you're still here, but if you're still here, we're doing you now. Ethan was here at the beginning. He walking away with that scape shift. Let's see. He gets two grab bags. Oh, there we go. Ethan is here. Getting a bristling hydra. And a fever. A fever. Or a fever, or whatever you want to call it. Ember Eye Wolf. Electrostatic Bolt. Vin <laughs> Vilden Pack Outcast. Ooh, a stone quarry. Lucky lucky you. How about an Uktabi Ifrit? Inner Fire. And Brute Strength. You got all red and green cards so far. How about your foil? Your foil is a nice thieving sprite from Modern Masters. There it is. You really need an Ashnod's Altar? All right. How about a Lightning Helix? That's not really an Ashnod's Altar, but it is pretty sweet. There are more than one copy of Altar in, in this pile. So, Ethan, let's see what we get for your second grab bag. Maybe we'll get there. Pia Nalar. No Kieran with that one, just Pia. And a Yavamaya Coast from Apocalypse. There you go. Talk Crop Elite. Field Creeper. Shatter Skull Recruit. Shreds of Sanity. Mad Dog. And Proven Combatant. Isn't that the same Hydra that you got? Yep. Absolutely it was. The Bristling Hydra. Alright. Boom. Foil Grasp of the Hyromancer. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more? And it ex Ooh. What the heck is that doing in there? Do you want a French copy of whatever this is? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Experiment 1? Experiment 1. Uh, uh, got there. Do you want a French copy of this? I don't know how this ended up in that pile. Um, I'm not going to give you that unless you want it. So I'm going to pull you another. Haha! <laughs> -ha! How about a counterspell? How about a counterspell? I don't know how a French copy of Experiment 1 got in there, to be completely honest. I actually don't buy foreign language cards at all, ever, so I don't know how that got in there. <laughs> I'm really not sure how that got in there. There you go, Ethan. Alright, Rick. Rick, my man. Walking away with that Zendikar Resurgence. Bad French copy. <laughs> Sylvan Library? Rick! Rick, Rick, did you just, did you just get a Sylvan library? Man, your, uh, your Mr. Bever's, uh, EDH deck is gonna be, uh, is gonna be, uh, stepping up its price tag. <laughs> How about an aid from the cowl? Ballot Broker. Orzov Signet. Feral Shadow. Hey, look, some fixing. A Signet. You got a Signet. That's fixing. White and black mana for one. There you go. Nice. Havoc Sower. Rites of in, in, Intonation? Intonation? And Hunt the Weak. All right. Your foil is a Merchant's Dockhand. Foil Rare. There it is. Foil Rare. And a Daze. <laughs> Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library. See, there, I listen, there's money in these. I've always told you guys that. There is money in these piles. It's not that these are just bulk rares. It's not the case. It's not the case. They're in there. It's just that, you know, there's definitely more bulk than there is money rares. Because if I put all money rares in here, I'd never have money for anything. I'd have to go out and buy all money rares. So your deck is five color. It is five color. Rick, you get a second grab bag. Let's see what we can pull for your second grab bag. How about a Scrap Trawler? And a Veteran War Leader. Alright. Shelter. Righteous Blow. Deputized Protester. Farbog Revenant. Tower Gargoyle. And Grip of Desolation. And your foil is an Adrata Express. Big old six. A big old eight six with Menace. And your commoner and commoner with a dollar or more is a Serum Visions. You did indeed, Costa. You did get that Arid Mesa in the uh, rare slot that one time. That is correct. So there you go, Rick. Thank you so much for your continued patronage. I hope you enjoy your... No, I dropped another bag. I'm the worst at this. 
There you go, Rick. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. All right, Lucas. Lucas, I think Lucas was back from eating. Lucas was walking away with that Boros charm. Lucas, if you're back, we're pulling your grab bag right now. Coax from the Blind Eternities. Gift of Immortality. Survive the Night. Naga Vitalist. Lithomancer's Focus. Drowned Yard Behemoth. Dutiful Return. And Tread Upon. And your foil is a Cathari Bomber. There it is. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more. Boom! A Bloodbraid Elf. There it is. Nice little Bloodbraid Elf. Who doesn't like cascading, right? Who doesn't like to cascade every now and then? I mean, I like to cascade every now and then. All right. Who's next? Jordan. Jordan W., you're next. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I saw. I actually have a foil copy of Intruder Alarm from 8th edition. And it, like, spiked to some some ridiculous amount of money. It was, like, $80 or something like that. And I was like, what? What just happened? This was, like, $20 the other day. All right, Jordan. Mind grind. Eidolon of the Great Rebel. There's a nice, like, $5 rare. Certain Death. Showstopper. Surge Mare. Pacifism. Shifet Monitor. Reclaiming Vines. And a Cavu Predator foil, along with a Mishra's Bobble, as you're a common or uncommon with a dollar more. So there you go, Jordan. I hope you enjoy that. A nice little bobble for you, sir. Come down quite a bit in price. No longer sitting at that, like, $50 price range for bobble, but still, still a nice uncommon. Mike V is next, walking away with that risk factor. All right, Mike, what do we got for you? You only had three of them, so you needed a fourth. Very good. Padim, Council of Innovation. And Divine Deflection. Void Grafter. Citizen uh, Griffin. Treasure Cruise. Good old Treasure Cruise. Dwarven Nomad. Fettergeist. Eh. Eh. Inspired Charge. And Ornary Kudu. I always pull that first. Foil first. Foil. Foil spawning bed. And an animate dead. So there you go. That's your common or uncommon with dollar more animate dead. Pretty good. There you go, Mike. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. And there it is. There it is. There it is. Ms. Universe. There it is. Looking weird. Joe B. Walking away that fortified village. I apologize. I'm really off my game this time. Always watching. Very nice little rare there. Who doesn't like to have their non-token creatures get plus one, plus one, and vigilance for three mana? An anthem? This is essentially glory, a glorious anthem with vigilance. Other than the fact that it doesn't do your tokens, I guess. Because glorious an anthem would do your tokens, too. But still. How about a nice mythic, too? Mirrorwing dragon. There you go. All right, Tears of Valakut, Guardians of Miletus, Carnivorous Moss Beast, Reckless Charge, Thorned Moloch, and Infuse with Elements. Your foil is an Augur Spree, and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more, a Rancor. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joe. I really enjoy having you as a patron. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. And there it is. <laughs> I also need to rebuild my can't die, but I can't win deck. Ah, yes. The good old magic decks where you're like, I'm going to build this with no win conditions, but also make it impossible for my opponent to win. Those decks are fun. Because it just, all they do is annoy your, annoy your opponent. All right, Ian. Walking away that Dire Fleet Daredevil, which is actually seeing play in Modern right now, which is interesting. And uh, Ian gets two grab bags, so let's do this. Boom, first. A Corrupted Crossroads and a Fortified Village. All right, all right. Rocks War Monk, Feverant Cathar, 
Wind Scarred Crag. There it is. Cyclops of One-Eyed Pass. Dirt Water Wraith. Hapatra's Mark. And Predator's Gambit. Your foil is a Daring Saboteur. A nice little foil rare for you, Ian. And your common or uncommon with dollar more is a Vines of Vasswood. Hi, Tony. How's it going? Look at all those lands. I know. I'm the worst. I am literally the worst. I'm, I'm super bad at this. Your next grab bag, Ian, is Dubious Challenge. Good old Dubious Challenge. And Tainted Remedy, which is actually a really fun card to play with. Soul Warden. Very good common, actually. Mist Raven. Eh. Dramoka's... Dramoka Dunecaster, Death Denied, Snare the Skies, and Voracious Null. Your foil is a Reverse Engineer, also a solid card. Reverse Engineer is a solid card. And a Serum Visions. So there you go, Ian. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. And there they are. Is your bag done? I believe it is, Tony. I believe I did your two grab bags already. I don't believe I have you left here. No, I have two people left, and you are neither of those people at the moment. Father Frodo. Father Frodo is next, and Father Frodo is walking away with that foil flame blade adept. That's his extra card. First rare. A death render. And a goblin charbelcher. With a ghostly flicker. Stratus Walk, Beckon Apparition, Puncturing Light, Gale Strike, Disenchant, Foil, Dusk Legion Zealot, good card, and Pyroblast. So there you go. Thank you so much, Father Frodo. I hope you enjoy your grab bag for January. And we put that over there in the pile. And last, but certainly not least, Eric, I don't know if you're still here, but if you are, it's time for your grab bag. Eric's grab bag is Immortal Servitude. Baleful Strix, very nice, actually. Baleful Strix is a nice card, solid rare. Spire Monitor, Feverant Cathar, Goblin Striker with a with a miscolored ink, Divine Offering, Abjure, Inner Fire, your foil is Flare Drone, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a Drug Skull Captain. So there you go, Eric. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. And thank you, everybody. Holy moly. Thank you all so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. We are very close. Well, maybe not super close, but we're more than halfway to our first goal on Patreon, which is 50 patrons. Um, and that is uh, when one patron every month will get a bundle. That's right. You will get a bundle of the newest standard set. I will open a bundle for you and ship you all of the cards of worth. Put it that way. So you won't. I won't ship you all of the cards from the bundle, but I will ship you the rares, the uncommons of note, and any of the lands and tokens and things that you want out of the bundle. So there you go. Is there any chance you plan on opening more spaces for $8? So the $8 one is the early bird one, and it's interesting, Tony, because... Um, a lot of people jumped out of the $8 into the 16 and then like other people jumped into the $8 and really what I should have done is I should have closed the $8 slots off when people from the $8 left um, because really the idea was that those were like the early adopters, right, of of the grab bag, right? So the $10 is really what it costs for people to join if they join now. The $8 was really only meant to be for like, you know, the first people who joined me as patrons. So if you're planning to jump back down to the $8 tier, Tony, because you've been a patron for so long, I will gladly open a spot for you in the $8 tier. Just let me know. Okay? So like, send me a note on Patreon or send me a message on Discord and we can sort it out and I'll make sure that I open it up so that you sign up into it immediately as opposed to... Um, 
uh, you know, like opening it up and then having someone else possibly take it, right? Uh, someone else already jumped in, Carl. You have a friend who wants in. Oh, snap. Well, Tony, I don't know. Well, I'll have, I'll have to think on that one. I'll have to think on that one. If I, if I open it up for you and, and your friend, then I'm going to have to open it up for everybody, which means I basically just got to get rid of the $10 tier and just say it's $8 and just open up a bunch more spots. Um, so I'll have to think about it. I appreciate you pushing me to your friends, though. I really appreciate that. So... Yeah, I mean, like, if you can convince someone else from the $8 tier to jump up to 16 you know, then your friend would have a spot to jump into. There's that, too, right? You know, the $16 is the early bird for two grab bags. If you don't get into the $16 early grab bag for two, you end up having to pay 20 That's how that works. <laughs> you're trying to hide... You're trying to hide your joy at work? Yeah, Kyle, I know, man, right? Like, so, so Tony, for the, for the since you missed it, to, Kyle walked away with that foil uh, doubling season uh, today. So, we did give away the foil doubling season today, and Kyle was the lucky winner. Kyle was the lucky winner! So, anyway, there's a bunch of stuff coming up for the channel. Um, for those of you who don't know... Um, I, I did post on Twitter, I think, last week, um, but I haven't mentioned it on YouTube yet. Um, but uh, I am participating in the, uh, the essentially, pre-release or uh, early access to uh, Ravnica Allegiances um, or Alliances or whatever, whatever it's called um, on Arena. Look, I don't even know the name of the set, and I'm participating in a pre-release event. Look at that. Look, how how bad am I? Um, but yeah, so on Wednesday, the, uh, the 16th of January, so a week and three days from now, I will be streaming on Twitch for as many hours as I possibly can, and I will be jamming uh, drafts, sealed... Uh, whatever I can, basically. And also, not just that, but I will be brewing decks with the new cards because I'll be given, essentially, um, an account that has, like, all of the cards already um, so that I can just brew whatever I want. Um, and it's just to showcase the new set. So um, I applied to be in it, and I luckily got the okay from Wizards to be part of the... to be part of that... Uh, group getting early access so I'm super stoked about it I'm super stoked about it um, so if you haven't gone and checked out my twitch page go check it out it's just twitch.tv slash mr. Bevers um, every Monday so tomorrow night I'll be playing arena um, on on that on the twitch page from about 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time until about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and then, yeah, then the following Monday, the 14th, I'll be playing Arena, and then the 16th, I'll be playing Arena for as many hours as I can. I'll probably start somewhere around, I don't know, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., and I'll go until midnight, maybe, if I can, which is really bad news for me, because on the 17th, I leave bright and early for Texas, <laughs> for PAX South. Um, so it's just gonna, it's gonna be a tight schedule for me. So then, again, I'll be at PAX South... Um, uh, from the 18th to the 20th, um, I am landing in San Antonio on the 17th. If anyone's in and around the area and wants to, you know, meet up, um, to, to talk shop or just say hi, let me know. I'll definitely be there with, with stuff. I'm going to bring some pens and some play mats and stuff. Um, so if people are looking for that stuff, uh, I'll be there and I'll have that stuff with me. I will also have that stuff with me at GP Toronto, which is happening in the beginning of February. Um, so <laughs> I'll be there with that too. And I'll have the play mats and the stuff like that as well so that you can pick them up for me at the event and I can sign them for you or whatever and, and all that good stuff. So, um, there's a lot going on in the next month for me. Um, I also am... Listen, I haven't done any work on the podcast. And I'm really bummed out about it. 
I'm super bummed out about it because I really want to get it going. I really want to do it. It's something that I think will be entertaining to watch and listen to. Um, and I just am having a hell of a time getting my cast of folks coordinated enough to be able to get together for half an hour to an hour to record. Um, and, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. So I'm hoping that I can get it done by the end of the month, but because I have all these things going on this month that are happening kind of like mid to late January, it may not happen by the end of this month, but it'll definitely, the first episode will definitely be out before the end of February for sure. Um, and that'll be hell or high water and that'll be whether all of my guests are available or not. We'll be doing it. So the first episode might just be like a pilot episode and it might not be amazing, but we'll see. Joey and the Beanstalk is in San Antonio? All right. Well, I'll have to ping him and let him know. I worked with him on the exotic MTG uh, 31 Days of Christmas giveaway, so I can just ping him on Discord and, uh, and mention to him that I'll be in San Antonio. You're going to hopefully be at GP Toronto? Nice. Yeah, like a bunch of us are planning to be there for uh, most of the time, right? Because it runs Saturday, Sunday, right? So um, chances are we'll, we'll be there for the majority of the day, Saturday and Sunday, um, if not the whole day. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I don't know all about who's all going to be there and what we're going to be doing, that kind of stuff. I'm not planning to register for any of the main events or anything like that. I I was talking with some people on Twitter about it the other day, and people were like, oh, I'm going to register for this. Like, And I looked at the limited package, and it's like $200. And I was like, yeah, but I mean, it's $200, but that's because limited costs a lot of money. Like, if you play in five limited events, it's basically almost $200. Um, so that's fine. Um, not a big deal there. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, but am I really going to... Am I really going to jam that many limited events? And I don't think I am. And the reason is because I want to spend time with people who are there to hang out. Like, that's... Like, I mean, I get it. The GP is for playing, right? But if people show up and want to play just casual Commander or just want to play some casual kitchen table, like, I will have decks. I will have um, that kind of stuff with me that I can just play for fun and just play right? Like without entering events. Um, and I mean, I'll be fine to enter events with people on demand and stuff that has, I have no problem with that either. It's just a matter of, um, I don't think cause the, the limited, the limited entry registration that you can do is like, I think it's five events and one, uh, of the newest set or something like that. So it's like five limited events of your choice plus one standard limited event or something like that. Um, and I was like, that's six events that you have to enter in. And that's like, so like, if you think about it, if each event takes two to three hours of your day, well, like forget about it. That's like, that's almost the whole weekend for just six events, right? Like, yeah, you'll get a couple hours here and there, but that's not, that's like time to go eat and go to the bathroom and like, you know, stretch, right? Like I was like, I'll probably play in a draft and maybe a sealed, Maybe I'll wrangle up a partner to do a two-headed if there's two-headed events going on, right? Something like that. Like, I'll, I'll, that's probably what I'll be doing, if anything. Um, what commanders do I play? Right now, I actually don't really play commander that often, Jonathan, to be honest. Um, I'm building the Arcades deck myself. Um, yeah, draft two, for sure, Jordan. For sure, I'll draft. And in fact, Milo the Great is talking about. Uh, possibly getting together like a content creator cube draft going so there might be like a bunch of us there doing a cube draft um that people can watch and maybe participate in if there's not if there's not enough content creators there but like i think there's going to be at least five content creators there possibly more and so we're going to try and get at least all of them involved in the draft if we can so um so that would be that would be fun that would be a fun thing to do, um, especially if any of our friends or family are there helping record 
record the event of uh, all of us playing or like taking pictures at least and then sharing it on Twitter and stuff, you know, just fun stuff, fun stuff for us to basically be like, we all met up and we all hung out and did games and it was fun, right? Like, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping for a good time. That's all I'm hoping for. Um, but commanders, I, so I'm building the Arcades commander deck right now. Um, if you don't follow, uh, Hank, Warlord Hank on YouTube, or on Twitter, you should, because you would know very well that the next Have Deck Well Travel, which is a commander-specific um, show that he's doing, um, the next deck that's done for that was built by me. <laughs> I built it. It's a blue-black mill uh, Fanax deck, uh, and he played it against his son, and apparently it uh, his son didn't enjoy it very much. He said, milling for 47... Or 49 at end of turn seems pretty good. And I was like, yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, when's that coming out? I don't know when the video's coming out. I think his tweet said that it was coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, for the deck tech. And then the and then the have deck will travel part will be later. So the idea is that that, that deck will be given away as well. I think that's what he does. I'm pretty sure that's what he does. So uh, he does a thing where like the have deck will travel is like he builds budget decks so it is a budget commander deck as well so don't expect it to have like super crazy amounts of value in it um but uh they basically he does the series and then he does a giveaway so definitely check it out if you haven't if you're big into commander check out that series from him it's uh, it's very fun and it's very good um but yeah so i built that deck for him and that was just me like i don't brew a lot like so any of you who watch me here, any of you who are still here in chat, you'll know. My channel is mostly about cracking packs. It's mostly about cracking packs. Now, as we all are aware, cracking packs gets expensive. It certainly does. Now, that's not to say that I'm going to stop. I'm not planning to stop. I'm going to continue cracking packs. But you may see from time to time that I will do a few videos here and there about other things in magic like brewing decks or playing some arena or doing things like that i'm gonna try and do it um i'm gonna try and record me brewing decks um to show my process do you see what i'm saying like so here's the thing is a lot of people right now on youtube do deck techs where they build a deck offline and then they talk about the deck and why it works together right I'm thinking about going it about it the other way, and it's because I don't brew very much. So I don't brew a lot. So I don't brew a deck and then and then analyze it and play it and figure out, okay, what doesn't work and what does work. Okay, change this out, change that in, like that kind of stuff. I don't do that. I, I just don't. And it's because I don't play competitively. I only play casually. And so when I brew decks, it's basically when a new set comes out and I see a bunch of cards in the new set that I like, I brew a deck around it. That's basically what comes what it comes down to. And I'll just jam a bunch of cards from the newest set together into a deck. Essentially like a standard deck. Like I basically brew like a standard deck and then I play with my friends at the kitchen table just for fun. And then that deck will stay together. Um, like it'll stay together forever, essentially. Like I have decks from when Scars of Mirrodin came out that I brewed and put together and I played them and they are, st they are standard legal for scars of Mirrodin. They're not legal now. They're not legal now by any means, except in maybe modern, but they're definitely not modern competitive. So you wouldn't play them. So I just play them at the kitchen table. Um, and they're fun to play, right? Like I, in fact, one of them is here, I think. Yeah. So this was a deck I brewed back in the day and it was, uh, mimic vat with, uh, with Wall of Omens and, uh... It was like Scars of Mirrodin and, uh, Mirrodin Besieged and Rise of the Eldrazi. Right? It was like, you know... So, like, you know, I... I brew decks generally when stuff comes out. Right? And, uh... That's basically it. But what I'm thinking is I'm thinking about doing a sort of like a deck. It's not a deck tech video like people would do it now. It's more of like a brew video. Let's brew a deck together on a video. So instead of it me instead of me having some sort of crazy ridiculously edited um, video where 
you know, I'm showing you pictures of the cards on the screen and talking about how they combo with each other and talking about how the deck works and showing it off, it's going to be me sitting at a computer with cards on the desk in front of me being like, is this look good? Does that, okay, what about this? Oh, this is a cool ability. Maybe if we put that in with this deck. Oh, okay, this is neat. Like, and, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be me working through the process myself in my head and basically just sharing it with you guys. Um, I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. Um, and it may be terrible. It may be terrible, but at least I'll get to start brewing decks again, which is really what I want to start doing. So um, expect to see something along those lines come, come along to the channel at some point. And it won't necessarily be all the time, but it'll be like probably like once a month uh, to start. And then maybe more often as I get more into it and I get better at it and all that kind of stuff. You should call it Janky Brews. Yeah, something like that. It'll be something along those lines, Jonathan. I don't know exactly what I'll call it. Um, I might, I might just call it a brewing bevers or something like that. Cause you know, like you brew a beverage, right? And that's how I tell people to pronounce my name is if you, if you think of the word beverage, right? That's how bevers sounds, right? It's because a lot of people go with the beavers, right? And uh, there's no A in it, right? That's the thing. There's no A in the name, but it doesn't really bother me that people pronounce it. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that people pronounce it with an A in it because I've dealt with it my whole life, right? Like, it's just, even growing up as a kid, my teachers always pronounced it beavers. And it was just like, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So, anyway... It's 8.30. We started at 7. It's been an hour and a half. How long have I been rambling for? Probably too long, right? Probably too long. I hope you guys all had a good time. I'm sorry that, you know, I don't have anything else to really show off right now. Um, thank you. A big thank you to the patrons. I guess I, we should do a proper, like, outro here, right? It's like... If you want to be a part of this patronage and get a get your grab bag yourself, you can go check out the link below. I have a link to the patron page. Um, essentially, anything at the eight dollar or above uh, walks away with um, a grab bag. Um, so even if you sign up for like a bundle each month, you'll see the the prices for the bundles and stuff there. Um, so I'll open a bundle of one of the newest standard sets, whatever, and get my hands on. Um, and uh, then I'll also uh, give you a grab bag. Like, you get both. You get a bundle and a grab bag for that price. So, I mean, it's not a bad price if you're looking to get the new cards as well, right? And uh, I actually need to think about increasing the prices on those because of the stupid price of the bundles and stuff going up here in Canada due to the tariffs. So I'll have to take a look at that. You can get a foil fountain, too. That's true. You totally can. You could get a foil fountain. There's actually some pretty sweet stuff left in here, I think. We got, what is this? Curious Assassin's Trophies in here. Descent of Dragons, Moldrotha, Patriarch's Bidding, Vanquisher's Banner, Heroic Intervention, Marari's Wake, Greater Good, Foil Boros Charm, Cyclonic Rift, everyone's favorite in uh, Commander, right? You know it. Foil Git, uh, Galta? Foil Galta. And we got an Imperial Recruiter there, too. Holy moly. Holy moly. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. And then, of course, a Foil Wasteland is one of the top-end cards that you can win these days. I love Patriarch's Bidding. Yeah, it's super, super good card. As Rick says, hit that like button, everybody. I mean, I don't... You don't have to. But I would appreciate it if you did, I guess. Um, and, yeah, get ready. Check out my, uh, my, my latest videos. Um, they're coming up this week. Like I said earlier, um, we are giving away some cards on Masterpiece Monday tomorrow. I've already picked a winner and everything, so if you didn't have your vote in, you've missed out. But, um, we did, we did hit a Masterpiece card for Masterpiece Monday. So, it can happen. It can happen. I was super, super shocked about it, but I'm super stoked about it. Um... So anyway, we'll see what happens uh, with the rest. Was it you? Maybe. 
Maybe maybe it'll just be tucked in with your grab bag, Jordan, and you won't even know. Like, you'll just get a bunch of extra stuff and you'll be like, where the heck did this come from? And then you'll look at it and go, <gasps> did I hit an Ink Eyes yet from Kamigawa? No. Unfortunately, no. I do have an Ink Eyes from Kamigawa, um, but I haven't hit one yet. Of course, Rick, I will definitely give give my best, give your best to Sharla. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a very good evening. I'm actually setting up, um, this guy right here. I don't know if you guys can even see this if I put it on camera. Let's see. Can you see this? Look at that. I got this little guy for Christmas. I got this little guy for Christmas. So, right now, it's like a little stream deck thing. And then I have this goes back up to the main page, which I haven't set up yet, but this is like my scenes for OBS. We're currently on the open boxes one, but I could switch to like my D&D &D thing, right? And there's my D&D &D thing, right? So D&D &D every Friday night we stream D&D &D on Twitch. There's my open boxes. I just push the button and away we go. It's actually working out really cool. I'm actually enjoying it. And you can see I've put my little arena icon on there. I went and found an arena icon online. And then this is my intermission button, which is the technical difficulties. And then there's my Mr. B for just playing games. And then here's my, this is my outro message that I play on Twitch. It's super fancy, I know. So anyway, I've been setting that up before I started the stream today. So I'm gonna have to set up the rest of that tonight um, and see how that goes. But I'm gonna put some sound effects on the board and stuff. So stuff that I can, Basically, I want to be able to change all my scenes and do stuff on the fly easily while I'm streaming without having to, like, go alt-tab into OBS or, like, set up a whole bunch of hotkeys that might interrupt with, like, gameplay and stuff. Because the thing about OBS is that you can set up hotkeys in OBS. Like, so you can set up, like, Alt-Shift-5, and it'll do a thing in OBS, right? Um, so that it changes the scene or whatever. So you can set up hotkeys for that stuff. But by doing that, um, if the game you're playing also uses Alt-Shift-5 for something, you, you'll do that while you're in the game. And I don't necessarily want that to happen, so I'd rather just have this to be able to just push the buttons and have it go and do the things. And also you can set up little icons, as you saw, so that it's easier to just see, okay, that's what I want, click. And you just click it, and away you go. So I'm going to set up a whole bunch of stuff for... The scene changes, and I've got a bunch of things going on that I'm going to set up. I haven't set up the other one yet uh, for uh, the Lore or Lie podcast. Um, that'll be on there as well, just so that I can quickly change to it when I need to, um, for whatever reason. But yeah, so lots of lots of cool things. So little little toy for Christmas. So it was a gift, and uh, I'm you know I'm putting it to good use, or at least trying to. I'm hoping that it will help. Uh, make my stream look a little bit more seamless and less less janky. Well, I mean, it'll still be janky, but that's okay. I, I like jank. Jank is the best. Of course, Jeremy, we're always still at it. And it's only because I ramble for hours. I ran. We could have finished this in 30 minutes. You know how many people I've had complain about things lately in my comment section? Too many. And by that, I mean... It doesn't really like I'm not going to I'm not going to fix what they're complaining about because they're just complaining. But like it's too many. It's too many. Although I guess to be fair, some of them have been correct. There have been some issues with my audio uh lately and it's because I wasn't balancing my audio properly in my uh editing studio. So I've fixed that now. So hopefully the videos this week will uh will be will be a little bit better. And be a little more balanced in audio. Smack them for five bucks each. All right, all right. So, I'll fix that. I will be fixing that. the the um, The intro was quite loud, and the videos were quite quiet last week. And it was because I was sick. And when I did the editing, I was not really in the right headspace. And so I accidentally did some things that I shouldn't have done with the audio to balance it, and I didn't balance it properly. And so I fixed that this week. It's going to be better, I'm hoping. So let me know what, what you notice in the videos this week if you watch any of them. Let me let me know if you notice any difference in the audio or anything like that. So um, hopefully it's better. I'm hoping. So check it out. 
and uh, let me know. But I guess that's it for tonight. Yeah, that's going to be it for tonight anyway. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you. Big thank you to all my patrons. And, I mean, we can do this, actually, because this, cause we have this here now. Look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready to see how fancy I am? I'm not actually using my stream deck because I don't have it on there. But look. Ready? Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Aren't we fancy? That's right. We're fancy. We have our patron screen in our OBS so that we can just show it off at the end here. There it is. And while you guys are looking at that, I'll pull Exotic MTG's grab bag since I have it right here. Boom. Ooh, what did he get? Ooh, fancy. Look, I can even, I can harass you guys by being like, ooh, look at those fancy things he's getting. And you guys can hear it, but you can't see it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Cool. All right. No lands. He hasn't got any lands yet. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, it's a foil. Good, good, good. All right. Ooh, look at that fancy one. All right, nice. There you go. Exotic MTG, we have pulled your grab bag. Look at that. It's all secretive and finished and done. And now I can actually close this box and put this all away. Boom. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.